What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Clear walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, some of you guys got a little annoyed by the speed button. It is what it is, guys. I wanted to capture as many Pokemon as possible. So now, in this episode, yes, I know, I promise we're going to be going into the gym, but hey, you know what? There is a Sprout Tower here. I have quite a few Fire-type Pokemon that I captured. Let's go right ahead and make it an adventure and uh, use some of the Fire-type Pokemon that we captured, like Budkiss and Zoro. So, a lot of our strong Pokemon will be on standby, but this one right here, I am going to challenge myself to defeat as many trainers as possible in the Sprout Tower. And then hopefully, just hopefully, not get my butt kicked or anything like that. So a bell sprout over 100 feet tall. If people say that it can be, it became the center of the pillar here. It probably did. Okay, so let's see. Only if you reach the top, you will obtain an HM, or at least that's how it, we used to give out flash to trainers. Ah, you've got a badge you on your sleeve. Therefore, I can grant you this. We get ourselves the HM05. Okay. And the HM05, of course, grants us uh, the flash technique. Very useful for lighting up caves. If the spiritual alignment is what you seek, then this is a good first step. At least, that's what the Elder in the, is always saying. Okay, that's cool. So, let's go right ahead and start battling a lot of these trainers right here. And this is new. Do you believe in your own ability, young one? You can overcome the trials of the sages ahead. Yes. Then I will allow you to pass. Okay, I do not like how this is going right now, because usually this means they got buffed up just a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We found ourselves a paralysis heal. It's always nice to have that. And, well, let's go right ahead and find ourselves the sage. And, well, as you can see, we stand guard this tower. Here, we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. To me, that sounds like a very good place. So, here we go. Going up against a sage, and his name is Chow. And what the f fuck? Oh man, we got screwed. Okay. Roar. <laughs> oh man, we got screwed. Oh man. Okay. So there's no way in hell. We are gonna, we're gonna win this, so I will be right back after I get my ass kicked by this guy right here. Okay, so, about that. We got misled. Badly. So, we need to start battling, and we need to start getting Pokemon evolved. So, what's going to happen is we're gonna go back to Budkiss, Zoro, and let's see. We're gonna be serious about this whole thing right here, guys, because... That really, that really ticked me off right there. So, let's see. Uh, who can benefit from this gym battle right here? Okay, we're going to go to Mareep. And we're going to go to Rocky right here, okay? Now, if this gym, bat if this gym battle comes out with, like, level 30 Pokemon again, I'm going to lose it. And because of that loss, that puts us down quite a few dollars right there. So, we have to win in order to get the heck out of uh, Johto right here. Holy crud. All right, let's go to the gym. Alright, what do you have to say? Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me, and if you... Uh, okay, we... Yeah, we're not a... Yeah, we're not... We're not a first-time trainer right here. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and start battling some Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with uh, Shockwave first. Get a little land, and then after that... Uh, destroy everybody else right here. So here we go. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner. I'm good enough to face anybody, except for the guys up in the tower. Okay, here we go. Abe wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Spiro. Now, let's see. Level level 12. Okay, so, remember, we've already won our first badge, so a lot of these trainers' Pokemons are, are buffed up just a tad bit. This is why I say I'm kind of steering away from the gyms for right now. I know I could battle as many gyms as I want, but they do buff up after every win, and... Well, our Pokemon are more than good enough to actually go up against these guys. So, hopefully, Fluffvolt can actually get can actually get something done right here. And let's go right here. The keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird trainer masters. Come on. Okay, let's do it. Bring it. 
Let's go. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Rod, and he will be coming out with his Pidgey right here. And, well, it's at level 9. It's a, a respectable level 4 Fluff Bolt right here. And Fluff Bolt, of course, does not have a, a an Electric-type move. So I don't know why I brought him out. I really don't. I really, 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 really don't, guys. So here we go with the Tackle Attack. And, well, that's not super effective. And, well, Shockwave right now is earning its, it's, earning its stripes. And it's earning its spot right here onto my team. As you can see, Pidgey has been defeated. And, well, look at that. More experience points for all of us right here. Shockwave being the superstar that it is. We're going to continue on right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Thundershock for the win. Oh, uh, yes. Look at that. That's a, that's awesome. That is awesome right there. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so we've defeated the Bird Keeper. And... Alrighty, here comes the gym battle. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym Leader. People say that you can clip flying types Pokemon wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to the bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Alrighty, so here we go, second gym battle, and it's up against Faulkner of the Johto Gym. And he will be coming out with his Pidgey right here. Level 14. I am coming out with Loveful just for the experience points, but we do have some pretty good Pokemon right here. Two good Pokemon. And this is the reason to why I am going to be capturing some stronger Pokemon. And well, here comes the Tackle Attack right here. Not very effective. Thankfully, Shockwave is a Steel type Pokemon, so that gives us a, a little bit of an advantage right there. And there we go. Thundershock does its trick. Pidgey has been defeated. And Fluffvolt grows to level 7. Shockwave, you know, kind of here and there. So here comes its final Pokemon, Pidgeotto. Let's go ahead and just take on Pidgeotto head on with Shockwave right here. And, whoa, he's gonna like, the wind is finally with us. How? I wanna know how. So here we go, Mud Slap. Not, not super effective right there. So here we go, Thundershock. Hopefully, it will do something right here. And god dang it, nearly defeated this guy. Now here we go again. Mud slap yet again. And that nearly defeats my shockwave, and its accurate has fallen. But we get the final strike. Pidgeotto has been defeated. And there gives us 400 experience points. And look at that! Look at that! We defeated him! Darn my dad's cherished bird Pokemon! Alright, take this. It's an official Pokemon League uh, Zephyr badge. Alright, cool. Alright. Throwing out the peace sign right there. Here, take this too. The TM31, which would probably be Mud Slap, right? And yes, it is Mud Slap. It reduces an enemy's accuracy while it causes some damage. In other words, it's both uh, defensive and offensive. You should hone your skills in any way you can. I'm going to train harder to become the greatest bird master. Okay, so that is another victory for us right there. Two badges, and once we step out, we are going to get a call from the Pokemon League. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations on completing another gym challenge. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge. You currently have two badges. We would like to issue a reminder to all trainers. If you encounter a wiggling tree, do not water it. We have reduced mul or received multiple reports of trainers, squirt trainers using a squirt bottles from Goldenrod City and Pewter City on the weird trees found in the Alex Forest and Viridian Forest. Please do not antagonize these Pokemon. And now for a special message. From the Charcoal Cl Cl Killin? Uh, Killin in Azilia. Fight with the fire. Cut your foes to pieces. Visit us in the Charcoal Killin in Azilia Town. Trainer tips. Kurt has opened a special shop from his home in Azalea Town. Buy the right ball for the occasion. Thank you and have a very good day. Okay. That's a long message, but still it was pretty good. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this. Look at that. We got one badge from Johto and one badge from Kanto. Okay, so we're starting off on the right foot. Now, this is where I would normally stop the episode. But, no, I kind of feel like I owe you guys just a little bit more than that. Since in the last episode, I was just speed training. I am going to deposit some of these Pokemon that I don't need. Fluffolt is one of them. And Rocky is another one right here. And since we do have some weaker Pokemon on along the way, 
Let's see. I think it would be appropriate for me to just keep Bell Sprout. Oh, what? What the hell? Yeah, Sir, Ray, Sir Razor with me because it could be useful along, you know, along the adventure right here. I am planning on going back to Kanto. So what we're going to do is we're going to make visits to Cherry Grove and uh, Cherry Grove Town and Newbar Town, and hopefully they will treat us right. There are some trainers along the way. I stepped on that on purposely just to see what we get. Alright, and here we have another Bell Sprout. Don't need that. Okay. Need to heal my Pokemon. Or I need to switch my Pokemon. So, uh, let's go straight for. You know what? Talks to Batman. Yeah, let's go with Teddy right here. We need to grow Teddy, and then we just need to. Just. Well, we just need to just battle. And, well, look at this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We don't need any kind of cut techniques for you know this this particular area right here. And well, let's see. This is Mr. Pokemon's house. And let's see. Life is a delightful. Always new discoveries to be made. Huh. Okay, so I thought I thought there would be something else right here. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, Mr. Pokemon's house. Okay, so. We haven't earned anything. This is not a trainer. Oh wait, that is this is a trainer. Okay. Finally. Alright, let's see what we got right here. Here we have a bug catcher. His name is Don, and he will be coming out with a butterfree. So as you can see, the levels have gone up on some of the, the Pokemon trainers right here. And I believe this is where I, I need to start being serious with like Selecting some weak Pokemon, so yeah. This is probably where we're gonna need the experience here, probably. Okay, so here we go. Ember attack, getting Butterfree, hopefully defeating him and all that stuff. And there we go. Butterfree has been defeated. Teddy grows to level seven. And Cinder, of course, growing levels himself. And here comes another Butterfree. Let's go ahead and give this one to Toxic Batman. That way it can grow some more levels right here. And, well, look at this. Butterfree is looking like a, a beautiful Pokemon. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out to Cinder. Now, is there any other Pokemon I want to capture? Yes, there is. There is another Pokemon I have my eyes on. Hopefully we can capture him. And here we go, another Ember attack, hopefully for the win. And uh, there we go, Butterfree has been defeated. And Toxic Batman grows to level 5, which is great. And uh, there goes Don, not so happy right there. Yes, we are strong, but not as strong as a lot of these trainers right here. So, let's see, here we have another trainer waiting for us. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. All right, all right, whatever you say, homie. Okay, so here we go, taking on youngster Mikey, and Mikey's coming out with this Pidgey right here. And Pidgey should be, yeah, level 12 right here. Okay, so, again, the amount of badges de determines the, uh, well, crap baskets. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, we need to heal our Shockwave. This is not good. We kind of forgot about that right there. Okay, so, let's see. Gust attack, that would have... Yeah, that would have beaten uh, that would have beaten uh, Shockwave right there. And do we have any? Uh, oh yeah, we do. We have a lot of those. All right, here we go. All right, so yes, we have healed our Pokemon. And here comes a Tackle Attack. And let's go right ahead and go for an Ember Attack right here. Ember, will it do it? Can it do it? Will it? And yes, it does. Okay, alrighty. 69 experience points. That's right, 69. And here he comes out with a Rattata. Let's go right ahead and go for Toxic Batman right here. All right, Toxic Batman, you got this. We got this. Toxic Batman for the win. Let's go. No, not that's not that's not for the win. So let's go straight to Shockwave right here. Another one of our strong Pokemon. And there it is. And here comes that quick attack. And no, not so strong right there. So let's go straight for... Wow, why did I go for a tackle attack? And that right there wasn't super effective. But here we go. Tackle attack. And let's go with a thunder shock. It's more of a special attacker than anything. Okay, here we go. And there goes Radita. 
And say hello to level 20. Okay, so everything's good. And Toxic Batman grows to level 6 and is learning Supersonic, which is a good move. And, well, there we go. That's strange. I've done this before. Yeah, you, you've done this before. But that right there, not cool. Okay, so we got to heal our Pokemon before we start even thinking of battling some stuff. And there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it again. All right, Shockwave, you are now healed. And let's go with uh, Cinder. Okay. We're okay. We're good. Now we're going to be battling with, like, three more trainers right here. And... I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait! You look weak. Come on, let's battle. Do I really look weak, guys? I, I kind of don't. I'm, that's kind of offensive right there. So here we go. Joey wants to battle, and he's coming out with his own Radita. Wiggling his booty, just like that. And here we have Teddy coming back. And, well, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go back to Cinder right here. Let's give it a, a good heave ho right here. And, well, there's that quick attack. Not so effective. And let's go with a reversal. Oh, yes. Reversal for the win. Nearly does it. And here comes another tail whip attack. All right. Here we go. Submission. That's right. Walls of Jericho onto Radica. Oh, Radita. Can't speak right now. And, well, there it is. Radita beat. And, well more experience points for all of our Pokemon right here and well let's see Joey has been defeated and he's like doggone it <laughs> all right uh, I have never seen that before okay we found ourselves an antidote and well let's see talk to this guy everyone's having fun battling you should too I am having fun I really am and well let's see this right here, I think this is the Berry Master. He gives you some berries. And, well, let's see. I'm currently looking at something right here on my iPad. And, wait, hold on just a sec. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so we got ourselves a berry. I think we could uh, collect the berries just to heal that Moo Moo Milk. And then, yes, healthier here. I'll show you where. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a berry. And check the berries, drop at the right time. Okay. And let's see, what does she do? I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Oh, so she was at the very top right there. Again, I'm still looking for a Pokemon to surf. So here we are in Cherry Grove Town. And let's see, I saw something. A person dressed in yellow with a fishing rod. They walked right into the dense trees and looking at it. Is there a hidden path there? Oh, yeah, okay, so I think I know what this guy is talking about. All right, uh, let's see. Let's heal our Pokemon. Speedy, uh, speedy heals. There we go. And let's go straight to the Pokemon right here and see what else we can actually buy since we got ourselves a new... Oh, look at that. We can buy ourselves some Great Balls. And that is that. We got to save some money for, you know, just get back to Kanto or Joe... Yeah. Hey, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Rookie, at some point, he would like to teach you some things. Okay, so. Alright, we're a rookie. So, we're going to let this guy tell us about the Pokemon Center, how it could heal our Pokemon, and all that stuff. And then, after that, he's talking about the Pokemart. And yes, we can buy some Pokeballs right there. That is great. And, well, there's another path right there battling. We already did all that stuff. You know that, right? We're not that much of a rookie. We do have two Pokemon badges, okay? Oh, God. And here we have his home, and I wonder what he will give us. Let's see. Okay, here. It's my house. Thanks for your company. And we do not get anything. Wow. Seriously? Cheapskate. Okay, when I was a uh, hotshot trainer, here's the word of advice. Catch lots of Pokemon. Treat them all with kindness. Okay. I do all the time. I really do. Uh, this is a new house. Let's see. Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form. Pokemon change. I would be shocked if one did that. Hmm. Okay, so that is that right there. Here we are in Route 29. I'm about to sneeze. And let's grab ourselves this berry right here. Look at this. Okay, we got ourselves a berry. And that is not a trainer. Who is this guy? Wanted to take a break, so I saved my record progress. Now this right here, let's see. You can 
climb the ledges, but you can jump down from them in a shortcut. Okay, so this right here will actually lead us to Route 46. There's nothing... Oh! There's a small opening right there, so we can actually get to Blackthorn City. And I do not want to battle you right now, Geodude. But there are some rare Pokemon here. If you guys want to take a look at that Pokemon. Let's see. There are Pokemon trainers here. Yeah, I'm not going to risk that. Hmm. Let, uh, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have another trainer, and she raised her Pokemon too. I will battle you with me. Okay. Let's see if this is not a trap game right here. Here we have a female picnicker, Erin, and well, she's coming out with her Ponyta. Okay. Ponyta's looking uh, at level 14. Okay, so we have a chance. This is new. This is great. We're going to grow some levels and not use the usual Pokemon for this. Let's go with Cinder right here. And hopefully, just hopefully, we don't get like destroyed right here. So here we go. Tackle attack. And that right there hasn't worked. So let's go straight for a submission attack. And submission does it. And well, here comes an ember attack. That right there is not going to be so useful. And well, look at this. Okay, let's go with a quick attack now that we do have it. And there we go. Ponyta has been defeated. Teddy grows to level 8. And it's learning Lick. So it's a, it's a good new move. And there we go. Level 22, Cinder. And well, let's see. Who is the next Pokemon on the list? Here comes a Pikachu. Let's go with Sir Razor right here. Just for the experience points. Look at that. Pikachu looks so cute. I wonder if you can actually get it around here somewhere. Or win it. So let's go ahead and switch back to Shockwave. Now... It won't do anything to my shock, but, but I do have Sonic Boom, which will actually take 20 HP from this Pikachu. So, let's go right ahead and... Let's see. Let's go right ahead and use this Sonic Boom right here. And here comes another Tail Whip, because it just wants to lower our defense. It's okay, it's alright. Here we go, Sonic Boom for the win. And, well, that takes the majority of its HP right there, so here comes a quick attack. Not so effective since we are a steel type Pokemon and there we go Pikachu has been defeated and Sir Razor grows to level 9 And well, let's see who is the next Pokemon Ponyta that is a Pokemon I do not want to mess with so let's go straight to Toxie Batman so we can get some more levels out of this Pokemon And well, let's see Switch it out Toxie Batman looking pretty great here we go, going back to Cinder, and Cinder, okay, here we go, Ember attack right here, and that doesn't do much, let's go for the Walls of Jericho submission attack, and this one will almost defeat this Pokemon right here, so here comes a Tail Whip attack, alright, okay, alright, so here we go, reversal, and that one takes care of Ponyta. We get more experience points. Talks to Batman. Grows to level 8, which is great. And we get ourselves some more monies. Yes. Oh, rats. And we get 500 of those monies. All right. Let's see what this is. We found ourselves an X speed, which is useful for our speed stat. And, well, let's see. Before we do anything, heal. We got to always heal our Pokemon. So, luckily for us, we do have potions. And, well, let's see. Okay, so there there should be... Oh, yeah, there is an opening. And you know what? Let's go ahead and grab these berries, too. All right. Okay, so we're making some progress right here, guys. With some berries. Now, I do not want to go any further because I do, I do remember these Pokemon trainers getting stronger upstairs. Let's see. There's the Dark Cave. And we are in Route 45. There is no... Oh, wow. Yeah, they really opened up this place right here. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're going to be battling another trainer. Let's see what he has to say. I'm raising Pokemon too. Will you battle with me? Yes, I will. I will battle you. Okay, so here we go, another picnicker. And his name is Ted. He's coming out with his Geodude. Okay, alrighty. So, 
I do have a chance with a uh, well, not a toxic Batman, but with Sir Razor. So let's give it a go. Sir Razor. How you doing? And here comes a defense crow by our good old buddy Geodude. But luckily for us, we do have Vine Whip. And that is super effective. Look at that. Takes care of Geodude. Like that. Everybody gets some points. Teddy grows to level 9. Sir Razor grows to level 10. This is becoming uh, quite easy for these Pokemon right now. And, well, here he comes out with a Zubat. Let's go right ahead and go straight to Shockwave. Alright, Shockwave, we got this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shockwave. Shockwave, Thundershock. Shockwave does its Thundershock. Shockwave destroys with Thundershock. Look at that. Okay. We're doing great here. And... Let's see, who's next? And here we have another Geodude. So let's go straight to Toxic Batman, or no, Sir Razor. I want Toxic Batman to get some battling time, but it seems like these guys just don't want it. I don't know. Okay, so let's go with the Vine Whip. Geodude right here at level 15 should be a good uh, challenge. And whoa, nearly defeats this guy. So here comes a tackle attack, and uh, that hurt, that's, that hits us pretty good. So here we go, another again, another Vine Whip attack. Sir Razor doing damage, and just like that, it grows to level 11. Nearly grows to level 12, and it's learning Wrap, which, you know, it's a Wrap right here. And here comes a Psyduck. Okay, Psyduck, you are going to be defeated by Sir Razor right here. Okay, okay. Now, huh. I just realized, good gravy! Yeah, I just realized that we can actually capture Psyduck in another location very close by. And where we can actually capture a Psyduck, that means we can surf since we have the surf technique. Oh, well, you. I just figured all this out right now. So here's the tail whip. And here we go with a Thundershock for the win! Say goodbye to Psyduck! Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, oh yes, Sir Razor grows to level 12. Okay, we're getting stronger. Bigger, faster, and stronger. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here and just get to New Bark Town. I know that I'm just using up all of you guys' time right here, but I like looking for Pokemon. And here we have a Spearow, level 2. Very, very uh, harmless. Let's just move on right here, guys. Alright, let's go... Let's go straight to New Bark Town and see what we can actually find. Let's see. Go right here. It's an open world now, so we, we shouldn't worry about anything. And there is a Pokeball right there that we can get. So here we are in New Bark Town. And let's go straight to Professor Elm. There is no Pokeballs right there. And he's like, uh, hello, my name is Professor Elm. I'm a Pokemon researcher here in New Bark Town. What's your name, Draven? Nice to meet you. How many badges do you have? Hmm. I have a friend that everyone calls Mr. Pokemon. He recently gave me another Pokemon egg to study, but I don't need it or have time for it to care for it. Say, Draven, you seem like a responsible young trainer. Can I ask you a favor of you? Will you take this egg off my hands? Yes, I will. Look at that. We got ourselves an egg, and it contains a, a Togepi, a rare Pokemon set to bring joy to the, its trainer. Okay, so we got ourselves a Togepi. Not bad. Okay, so since we never started here, and here we have Alan calling us, and yes, he uh, picked up something sweet. Yes, we are going to go back to Route 36 to go pick it up. Um, let's see, what is this? Gold's house. Okay, so gold does exist. Let's see, hello, I'm visiting. My daughter is an adamant about becoming professor's assistant. She recently loves, or she really loves Pokemon, and this right here is Gold's mom. I worry about Gold getting hurt or sick. I'm very proud of he's uh, doing what he wants to do. Okay, oh, okay. So this is uh, this is pretty interesting right here, guys, because I think they added both Red and Gold. So if I go to Pallet Town, it probably would be the same. And whoa, huh? Well, would you look at that? We're back in Kanto. <laughs> Well, how you figure? So we do not need to go back and uh, wow, this this open world thing is a uh, really, really, it's really something. Okay, so let's see. They added a bridge. Let's see, what is this? Elms House. Okay, so let's see what we can find right here in Elms. 
Uh, hello, my husband's always working. Okay, caught up in his work research, forgets to eat, yes. Uh, when I grow up, I want to help my dad. I'm going to be a great professor. Yes, just like your daddy. And, let's see, what is this? Uh, Pikachu is a devolved Pokemon. I was amazed, Professor Findings. He's so famous for his research of evolution. Sigh, I wish I could be a researcher just like him. Uh, okay, so I just realized something. We have an egg. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at his egg right here. And here we have, it moves inside sometimes around. It must be close to hatching. So, it looks like to me, doing some speed stuff won't, uh, won't do anything. So, we have easy access to Kanto now, guys. So, uh, we're going to stop right here in Gold's house. In the next episode, we are going to be doing a lot more stuff. I don't know what it is, but we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Haven't thought of it. I'll see you guys next time.